Hi, my name is Christian and I'm a drummer and mixing engineer from Austria. In this awesome tutorial, I want to show you how to create a heavy snare drum sound like this. Before we start, there are some very important things to tell. Mixing is all about hearing. If your ears don't get the right informations, they won't be able to correctly rate what they hear. So your monitoring situation will be responsible for your whole mixing result. But don't worry, this doesn't mean that you need high-end expensive speakers and room modifications. If your room isn't perfectly leveled and acoustic optimized, please make sure not to mix with big monitors which give a lot of bass and do not use a subwoofer. Studio monitors will only work in acoustic optimized studios, but not at home. If your room is not optimized, your ears will not get the right informations from speakers like that, especially respective to low end frequencies. So what can you do? Mixing is about two kinds of settings. Big settings which are musical and very small settings which are more technical. If you are doing big settings, please make sure to use simply a kitchen radio or cheap computer speakers for a few bucks. Believe me, this will lead to better results. When your mix works on speakers like that, it will work everywhere. If you are doing small changes and especially if you are adjusting low end frequencies, please make sure to use some good headphones that you know. Use the headphones to compare your low end and high end with your favorite reference tracks. Working with headphones and cheap computer speakers will lead to way better results than working with studio monitors for a few hundred or even thousand dollars. So let's get started. First you need to download the drum files which are provided right here in the attachment folder, just for you. Then you need to drag and drop them into your DAW. I'm using Cubase, but it doesn't matter if you're using Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic or whatever. So we open up a new project. I've already done this. Go to File, go to Import, go to Audio File and select all the unprocessed drum tracks which I provided for you in the attachment folder. Hit Open, select Copy files to working directory, which is very important because we want our files to be in the right folder. Hit OK. And select different tracks, because we want to place our tracks on top of each other, making sure that they start all at the same time. Perfect! Now we've created our setup and we can start mixing our snare drum right away. Let's start with the EQ. <laughs> We want to keep a very natural and dynamic sound, but also we want to achieve a processed and aggressive snare drum sound. So what I did was simply duplicating the snare drum track. I just right click on the track and say duplicate tracks. And I call it SN Punch 1. And I do the same for the second snare drum microphone. So SN Top is just duplicated and it's called SN Punch 2. So SN Top 1 goes to SN Punch 1 and SN Top 2 goes to SN Punch 2. Now we're going to solo SN Top 1 and open up our EQ. This time I opened up three EQs. Now first I want to add a shelving filter at around 5 kilohertz. but not too much of that. And second, I want to boost 3 kHz a little bit. Last for this EQ, I want to add a lot of low frequencies.
So this gives us a lot of punch and we really like that. Next I will use the Revival tool from Slate Digital. This is a freeware plugin and you can download it on slatedigital.com. I want to add some shimmer, which stands for very high frequencies. And I also want to add some thickness. Next we want to boost 1.5 kHz just a little bit. Just about 1 decibel or something. And we want to reduce about 600 Hz for about 6 decibel. Now this is how it sounds completely unprocessed. And this is how it sounds with our EQ settings. Sounds very good to me. Next we want to open up another EQ and we want to cut out all the unused low frequencies starting at around 80 Hz. So we're going to set a low cut filter which looks like this and we're going to low cut all frequencies below 85 Hz. because we really don't need very low bass frequencies here. Next we want to add some high frequencies. So we're going to use a shelving filter. And we start around 5 kHz. Last thing, can you hear the humming noise of the snare drum? This is a very certain frequency located at 424 Hz. This is how it sounds, so we have to cut that out. Now this is our snare drum, completely unprocessed and processed. Very cool. Now you can simply copy and paste everything you've done in SN Top 1 to SN Punch 1, SN Top 2 and to SN Punch 2. So I've already done this. Simply copy and paste everything. I've copy and pasted the virtual mix rack and my second EQ. Next we want to EQ our snare drum bottom mic. So we solo this. We're going to open up our virtual mix rack. And I like to add some high frequencies at around 5 kHz. Also I like to boost 3 kHz a little bit. And I want to reduce 1.6 kHz a little bit.
And again, I will insert the free revival tool and add some shimmer. Sounds cool to me. Next we'll open up our Equilibrium EQ and we will cut out all bass frequencies below 200 Hz using a low cut filter. In addition we want to notch out the humming frequency at around 224 Hz. So this is our snare drum bottom mic unprocessed and processed. Very cool, let's hear them all together. Very cool, but we're not done yet. So what we're gonna do is creating a bus channel and sending all the single tracks into our bus channel. And now we're gonna do a second edit on the bus channel. Now I just wanna boost some high frequencies using a shelving filter. And add some shimmer. Sounds good to me. But again, we're not done yet. It sounds really cool and it's got some thickness and the EQing is really cool, but now we want to get some punch out of it. So we need some compression. As the title tells you, we want to have a lot of punch here. This channel is in parallel to SN Top 1, which we keep natural and without compression. Knowing that we will always hear the natural and uncompressed sound of SN Top 1, we have very much room left to play around with SN Punch 1 and go into extreme settings. So in this case we want to achieve very much punch and we don't mind if we lose some low end or sound. We don't have to compare if we made the signal sound better, because that's not even what we want. We just want to make this pump and punch. So open up any compressor. In this case I chose the FG116 from Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack, but again it doesn't matter which compressor you're going to use. So first we set up a long attack, which in this case is reverse, so 1 means very long and 7 means very short. Second, we want to choose a very short release because we want the compressor to stop working as soon as possible. So this is how we create the punch effect. Also the release is reverse. 1 means very long and 7 means very short. So this is how it sounds without compression. And this is how it sounds with compression. Now you can simply play around with the input, which in this case stands for the threshold value, and the ratio. Let's hear it together with SN Top 1.
Sounds cool to me. Now you can simply copy and paste all compression settings from SN Punch 1 to SN Punch 2. And now we're done with the compression of the single snare drum channels. You can also simply copy and paste your SN Punch 1 or SN Punch 2 compression settings to SN Bus Channel. But we have one problem here. We don't want to affect the whole snare drum channel. Now at this point, if you have a few bucks left, I really recommend getting the Slate Digital Monthly Bundle, which contains all plugins you need for about 20 bucks per month, and you can choose only to pay when you really work with them. So you can re-sign anytime. Don't get me wrong, you can also do it without third-party plugins, that's what I promised to you. But your life as a mixing engineer will be a lot easier with plugins like them, especially because of their parallel processing option. So by using these plugins you can simply adjust the amount of parallel processing by editing one single knob. But if you can't afford additional plugins, no problem, you can do it without them. It will only take you a little more time to do this. Now I've opened up the FG116 and as I told you before I simply copied and pasted all compression settings from SN Punch 1. But this time I will turn the mix button to 50%. So I hear 50% processed signal and 50% unprocessed signal. Now if I turn it down to 0%, I will only hear the unprocessed track. If I turn it up to 100%, I will hear 100% processed signal. Now I want to achieve a mix of unprocessed and processed, so I'm going to choose 50% mix. Very cool! Now what can you do if you don't have a mix knob function in your compressor? If you can't afford any third-party plugins and you don't have a mix knob function, I suggest doing the following. You simply create a further FX channel. Go to project, go to add track, say FX channel. And call it SN parallel. Say add track. Now you want to move the FX channel to your snare drum bus channel. Now you open up your mixer again and you want to send your snare drum bus channel to your snare parallel channel. So you click to send, say SN parallel Activate it, select, move to pre-fader, I've already done this. Simply copy and paste all plugins you've inserted into the SN bus channel. Open up your snare drum bus channel. Turn off the compressor. Open up your snare drum parallel channel. Turn the mix knob to 100%. Now your snare drum bus channel is without compression and your snare drum parallel channel is with compression. And now you simply have to add your snare drum parallel channel to your snare drum bus channel. And this is how you can parallel compress your bus track without using any third-party plugins. Okay guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you could learn a lot. I know it's been a long tutorial, so thank you for staying in and thank you so much for your attention. If you liked this video and if you could learn a lot, you should definitely have a look on my mixing drums course, where I teach you how to mix heavy drums, starting completely from scratch. 
In this case, just go here or take the link in the description and get the course for a heavy discount. So thank you so much for staying in, hope to see you next time, have a nice evening, goodbye.